COVID is not just happening, guys. It's not just happening. It didn't just magically happen. It didn't come out of nowhere. It has a source. What is going on, everybody? It's Gordon here to support you in your evolutionary journey, stepping into your best version and living your best life, right? And I really do mean living. One of the things that's impacting the way that we live right now, collectively and individually, is the disease going around, right? All of us are being affected right now by COVID. And I, I, want, I want to open up a conversation in relation to that dynamic. And, and I want to open up a conversation where, yeah, I, I'm coming from the place of, okay, first and foremost, I am a spiritual being having a human experience. I want to open up this conversation from a place of awareness that okay i am a creator i'm made in the image and likeness of the divine i'm made in the image and likeness of source i am a creator and i am always in creation mode i want to open it up from that place because here's the thing i take the stance that covid is something that we have collectively and individually created covid is not just happening guys it's not just happening it didn't just magically happen it didn't come out of nowhere it has a source and that source isn't just from one person or one group of people but that source is existing inside of each and every single one of us i take the stance that covid is a direct manifestation of are unprocessed shadows right? and it's a direct manifestation of unconscious thinking earl nightingale one of the fathers of the personal development movement yeah one of the principles he shared with the world is thoughts become things you know, there's, there's this other great book i can't think of the author of it but it's called as a man thinketh and it talks about how all of our thoughts crystallize into material form or, or a, yeah, some kind of material happening. All of our thoughts crystallize into some kind of material happening. And so I want to connect this to COVID, right? We have thought this up. We may not have done it consciously, but we have done it unconsciously, right? And without diving too deep into yeah like this is our creation without diving too deep into that i want i want to plant the seed of what we can do here in the now to shift our experience of health as a collective because that's what's suffering right now is our collective experience of health It is my assertion and stance after working with so many people from across the world through my coaching practice that there are numerous, I mean, just vast numbers of people who are existing with some level of sickness inside of them, whether it be trauma or hatred or pain or, you know, uh, self-worth, right? All of us, to some degree, are experiencing some kind of misalignment in our being. Misalignment meaning that we're, we're, our, our, our minds and our hearts and our souls aren't in coherence. But, you know, maybe I want to do this one thing in my, with my life, but my heart is so wounded that it doesn't open up enough for me to share my gifts. Right? That's that's. Uh, dissonance that's not that's not coherence right there and so there's a lot of people experiencing uh non-coherence within themselves that's misalignment that's dis-ease there's we're, we're, all of us for the most part on some subtle or not so subtle level is experiencing some level of dis-ease and so when we begin to acknowledge that 
and see that, it begins to make more sense as to why all this COVID stuff is beginning to sprout from our sprout out of us and and into our field of experience. There's no coincidence there. And so my statement, my my stance once again is we're creators of this and 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 I know some people don't want to take responsibility and say, I'm a creator of this. It's like, no, I didn't do any, I, I, didn't, I didn't want any of this stuff. I didn't want the mask wearing. I didn't want the, the, the vaccine, vaccine mandates. I didn't want any of that stuff. I didn't create that. And, and regardless of, of, of whether or not, yeah, regardless of all the reasons as to why that may be true for you, I want to invite you to own that you did regardless because it's in the ownership of I created this, that I can shift my influence. If I choose to be a victim to something, that means I have now cut myself off from being an influencer. If I, if I choose to identify in victimhood, that means there's nothing I can do. There's, 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 there's no way I can be to change this circumstance. And once again, I take the stance that we're made of the image and likeness of source. Source is a creator. We're made in the image and likeness of that. So therefore, you're a creator. I'm a creator. We're creators. And that is the core of our identity. And I find it more empowering to stand from that place. Because now, as a creator and owning and, and, and looking at, okay, wait a minute, how, how could I have contributed to what's happening in the world? Okay, well, I have lived a, a subpar healthy lifestyle, right? My, my lifestyle of health has been subpar. Okay, yeah, I, I, maybe I have contributed pain to other people that's, that's uh, you know, added up. Right? Maybe, maybe the pain, maybe the, the energy I've contributed in some way has led to this dis-ease. In owning that, we can change what's happening now. Right? We can shift our, our maintenance of COVID. Right? We can, because right now we're maintaining its presence in our world right now by meeting this disease with dis-ease, <laughs> right? We're feeding it, right? We're, COVID is gonna continue to expand and evolve and to have new variants and, and continue to blossom as long as we're watering the plant that it is. And right now we're watering it with fear, judgment, condemnation, resistance, Whatever you resist persists. So we're resisting COVID, so COVID persists. We're feeding it. And in taking ownership of the fact that my thoughts create my reality, okay, well, I can choose, instead of meeting COVID with all of those vibrations, I can choose to meet this disease with a spirit of health. I can choose to meet this happening in the world with thoughts of grace, Thoughts of understanding, thoughts of patience, thoughts of excellence, thoughts of, of atonement, at one mint, health, alignment. I can meet this happening with energy that will transform it. Have you ever been in a room with, have you ever been in a bad mood? And you've just been feeling like crap. And then somebody with beautiful energy, a beautiful heart, beautiful, caring, warm energy walks into your space and they begin to talk and connect with you. You ever feel your spirit lifted up? Right. And, and next thing you know, you feel better. Your body is moving differently. You're more uh, engaged and energized in your day. Right. That person was carrying with them thoughts and energy that trans that helped you transmute and alchemize and transform your experience. Right. And, and so our energy, our thoughts matter in a big, big, big way, in a way that's bigger than any vaccination, in a way that's bigger than any mandate. 
Our thoughts and our energy, our unprocessed wounds matter and influence the trajectory of our collective health more than any empty action. And as soon as we begin to own this, as soon as we begin to own that, okay, I am, I am contributing to this. I am a creator of this. We are creating that. As soon as we own that, not only will things like COVID shift, but we'll see our ability to eradicate the poverty consciousness that we're holding on to as a collective. We'll, we'll see ourselves begin to eradicate that and, and things like poverty and racism and sexism and uh, yeah, cancer, all other diseases, things of that nature will begin to, they'll recalibrate and realign because our thoughts and our emotions and our energy, our attitudes have shifted. Wayne Dyer says, when you change the way you look at things, the things you look at begin to change. And it's 100% absolutely true. And I don't need to give you a study. I don't need to give you a science, I don't, a, 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 a dissertation. I invite you to put it into practice. Begin to change the way you're looking at things and watch your life change. Begin to change the way you look at yourself and watch yourself change, your cells Right. I began to look at myself as someone who is is beautiful and and and, and a, a wonderful person to be around. And and I began to my, my skin began to glow more. My 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 smile began to expand on my face. My my body began to shift. It, right. As I began to look at myself as like, you know what? No, I am. I am a healthy person. I'm going to choose health. I'm choosing health in my life. As I began to shift my attitude and my outlook on myself in that way, my body began to shift. I began to lose weight and put on muscle. I naturally wanted to work out, right? So at the core of it all is our attitude, our thoughts, our energies, our emotions. We're not victims to COVID. We may have been victimized by COVID, but we're not victims to it because we are creators and we can meet anything in this reality with creative energy that transforms, alchemizes, transmutes, and shifts reality. So I wanna, I wanna plant that seed and give that a voice and, uh, and start this movement of personal responsibility so we can begin to change the way we're experiencing our lives. Because I know a lot of people are hungry for that and they're praying for that right now. And I'm one of them. So I hope this video inspires you, uplifts you, and, and provides you with awesome transformation in your life. And let's keep doing the inner work, y'all. We have a beautiful future ahead of us. Let's just keep doing the inner work. Till next time, peace.